Hello you guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana's channel, my name is Shanks and today we're gonna take a look into the Rohan faction in the Legends of the Third Age mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 1.06. For that reason let's go on solo play, skirmish and this time with the Rohan faction on the beautiful map Anorian against 3 hard armies. Not one, not two, but three. You know I like challenges, right? And they're gonna be all random, we're gonna take a look into the power of all Riddermark faction Rohan. That's my favorite spot by the way, top right and let's get it started. Wish me luck guys, wish me luck, because I have done many many 1v7s, yes, but it was normal one uh, BFME 1 on the patch 1.06, I believe this is a bit harder. So the start is pretty basic and this is also a different texture design, I guess. We have two peasants to start with and we have also the draft from the spellbook of Rohan to give those peasants weapons to fight with. And that's gonna be also the case. And we also need to recruit the Hobbit Mary Poppins, I mean Mary Adok Brandybuck, no no, not Mary Poppins of course. And now, and you know what I like about this mod? Um, I've said that many many times in every other video I did so far. I like the speed of this mod quite a lot. I like the way, oh that's a Rohan next to us. But it's fine. Let's build another, and we have also two different uh, type of, um, say it, two different type of uh, resource buildings as Rohan because normally Rohan is only the farm but here you have also not inside the base but outside of the base I will show you guys one second we will be losing this fight we have to hobbit here should be fine let's peel back a little bit and uh, this guy is spamming a lot of extra peasants on us unfortunately but it's fine now we have a couple of options we could be spamming quite a lot of peasants but I believe oh 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 I was not paying attention for a single second and there goes down Mary Poppins I mean Mary Doc Brandybox sorry and the peasants, they have the same price. They cost 100 each, so nothing is changed in terms of the pricing. We see a tainted land on the ground. That means we have a Mordor opponent. And now we can build some extra peasants because I believe we will need them. We will need them. And what you need to do in Rohan, with the Rohan faction, I mean, you want to wait for your peasants to come out before you actually going to draft, you know? That's a hero, by the way. Very early hero. Let's cancel the peasants because they're going to be taken down anyway. And let's recruit or revive our Mary once again. He's level 2, the price is the same. And uh, we are, because we are waiting anyway, we can now take a look into all the heroes. We have Aragorn, Legolas, Gimli, the trio. We have also now Gambling, who is a, a Rohan hero, a new one. Eowyn, Eomir, Teorina. So the only new hero here is, of course, uh, Gambling. Nothing else is changed about this faction, it seems so far at least. We have new design for the farm store. Okay, now we have three peasants. Now we can... You know, move. Let's give this Mary stone so he can keep the distance and this way he can deal damage without taking any damage in return, okay? And now we can also build the stable. When it comes to the build the stable, I would like to build it here because here in this spot I want to build a well for the sustain. And with that being said, I want to make sure... Oh, wait a second. They are not... They are stuck kinda, but it's fine. Um, You know, in a situation like this, focusing down the hero doesn't make any sense. But now we have surrounded him, so he should be, you know, kind of forced to retreat very, very soon. Ideally, Mary should be taking the last hit. I want to. Okay, let's let's give Mary the last hit. There we go. He is now level four. That means he has more damage. That is Elvin, the shields maiden of Rohan. Now we have the stable, and that's one of the best changes actually about this mod. As, <clears throat> sorry, similar to BFME 2 or Rise of the Witch King. Uh, this mod allows you to upgrade your buildings with uh, by paying money. You know. Which is a big issue in BFME 1 in my opinion, because normally that's not... Oh, 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 what is happening here? Hello? This guy is gate rushing us? Are you kidding me? Oh no, we need to rohit him and we need them now on the field. Level 6. Uh, let's get cloaked here with the Hobbit, because there is no way we can win this fight. And they will be taking down the well. I can't demolish this, because I need to buy some time. And well grants a lot of experience. Let's take them down one by one. And we can also take a look into the hero, the new the new one, Gambling. Recruit the captain of the Royal Guard. Okay. Uh, but, oh, actually, we are losing this fight. What's going on? Holy quackamole. Okay, now we should be taking the trap. What's... That's dealing damage to me. I'm actually... Oh, we're gonna lose this fight, dude. That's unbelievable. Okay, we need... Uh, I don't know what we need. We need a miracle now. You know what we're gonna, we gonna do? We have to do, at least. Uh, let's build a tower. That's a horrible spot for the tower, but it is how it is. Uh, because we are taking so much damage over time from this one soldier battalion. They are level 2 though, they are hitting like an absolute track. 
And now we want to focus down on this unit first before doing anything else. And the good thing here is this one is... I mean, the bad thing is this is a bad spot for this one tower, you know? This one, of course, would be a much, much better spot. And trust me on that one, we can't even afford to go outside yet because there are just too many units to deal with. We have lost every single outside settlement. And unlike Gonzo, Rohan has not many settlements inside the main base. You can see only seven spots here, which is pretty bad. And this is the balance of Rohan. 50% production from a selected structure for a short time. Okay, we need that. We need that. We need that. Can we also use it on... Yes, we can. So that means we will get now much more money from this farm, which is great for Rohan, trust me. Because, again, Rohan has only 7 spots in his main castle, and that's not enough. Gondor has 9, and Mordor and Isengard, they have 8 each. So, we have a couple of options here. The first one is, of course, to wait for a couple of money. So we can get some heroes on the field, get them some experience, or we can... Uh oh the Eye of Sauron! <laughs> These guys are smurfing on me. Okay, rest in peace, Mary. It was nice to meet you, my friend. But at least we could lure them to the tower a little bit. And the tower is doing a nice job killing units all the time. Our money is looking terrible. So we need a miracle, trust me. Okay, so... Actually, this is reloading quite fast. I like that. But it's also not lasting very long. I don't know how long this is lasting for. Short time? I can't, you know... When it comes to these details, I would like to have a bit more information, you know what I'm saying? Like 30 seconds, 1 minute. I think that could be bringing the games, BFME games, to the next level. You know, to have some cooldowns. Instead of a picture, who, you know, which is reloading over time. Imagine a cooldown in, in time on your ability. So you can see exactly, okay, I have 1 minute left, 30 seconds left, and so on. And when someone, for example, is using darkness, freezing rain, or cloud break, you can see at the top left side or something... Uh, the effect duration and how long the effect is gonna last for and when it's gonna be gone okay so i don't trust gambling i want to recruit the king of rohan that's of course nobody else but theodin and uh, he's also quite cheap he gives you leadership of level one which is very effective and what we also need to do is of course a post on gate and i would like to build it here why are you asking glad you're asking because this way i can go out in to the well and sustain and again buying some time being fast in rts games is the key to victory and also the heroes are coming out mounted which is a great change leadership is nerfed and now i regret are we gonna lose this did i just hear ends i'm not i'm not sure we need to get healed though this is heal yes let's heal let's get heal because i know Okay, oh my goodness, that's how dangerous. Oh, we wasted a heal. And Theoden couldn't get any experience either, because the damage is nerfed, the armor is nerfed. Okay, so... I mean, let's be honest, I can't, I can't do anything else but build another tower here. Uh, because they have, right now, luckily for us, nothing to take down the towers just yet. Even though Rohan towers are targetable... Oh, oh, what is that? A giant eagle is coming. Out of nowhere. Okay, I mean, the good thing is we are getting some experience, the bad thing is we have no money. So we need to build another farm here, and uh, I guess we need to save for some important heroes like Aragorn, who is a bit cheaper, he used to cost 3,000... Please, let me... Okay, he has, he has mercy with me, this eagle. He knows I'm struggling. <laughs> I mean, maybe a bit. I was a bit too slow. And I lost those settlements outside very fast without being able to get enough money. And Rohan opponents, they are spamming a lot of peasants early on. Oh, oh, this guy is not... What is this damage, ladies and gentlemen? Holy quackamole. Close to Theodian, they are getting one-shotted. I mean, I could potentially... I could potentially... Oh, the Tita is shooting as well. That's nice. No, it's not. Oh my goodness. Luckily, we are... And they are, he's also able to level up. He's not taking that much damage from the towers. I hope that we won't be needing another another tower. And uh, slowly but surely this eagle is going down. Because I could go for Eowyn, yes. And smite, I don't know how much, you know, the smite ability from Eowyn deals damage to the eagle. But Eowyn is not, it's gonna be only good for that. Or, or oh, there is a Legolas on the field. Okay, I see you Legolas. Please, eagle. Kill this eagle, please. I mean... What am I supposed to do now? 
Okay, we can use this, right? Yeah, let's use this. He's not killing the battalion, at least. That's something. Can you attack? Yeah, you can attack. Okay, now he is actually getting attacked from multiple sides. I don't know why this tower is all of a sudden stop, stops. Attack this, please, tower. Okay. Look this, it takes one hour. This eagle is quite tanky. How much health does he have? I can't click on him. Okay. Uh, three power points collected. Do we have any summons? Um, summon dwarves. Oh, nice. That's new. Anduril sword. Pretty much the same. 100% damage, 50% armor, 25% movement speed. Elvin wood. And summon Elvin allies. Okay, now we have a couple of options, I believe. I want to take a look into this, the new stuff, you know. And it's, of course, summon dwarves. Even though I'm sure they won't be achieving too much. Let's summon them on top of this Legolas and try to kill him. Those are guardians, ladies and gentlemen. And Legolas is quite tanky too. And we have no formation, nothing with these heroes. But uh, luckily for us, Legolas is going to be taken down. That's going to give us the power points we need for Aragorn and his Anduril sword. Now we have the money too. You know what would be nice for Rohan? I mean, actually maybe that would be a bit too much. Uh, pillage from the spell book. But Eomir already offers you pillage. And actually, when I think about it, Eomir should be the next hero we need to get on the field. Because when we get him level 2, we will get money for killing enemy units. As long as Eomir is nearby. And that should be always the case. Now, Aragorn, the son of Araton, is on the field. Ladies and gentlemen, Anduril's sword is going to make his sword shine bright like a diamond. And let's go with Aragorn first. And then follow up with the Rohirrim next, okay? That's the plan. Then we get Eomir on the field. Yes, he he's also a bit cheaper, which is nice. Okay, Aragorn is tanky. And also a different picture for every hero what's happening here. Don't die. Okay, we need to peel back. Okay, we have Anduril's swords now. Aragorn is hitting extremely hard. But he is, uh, you know, kind of surrounded. Too many units. Even for Aragorn, the king. Which makes sense. Oh, we need to kill Faramir. Faramir, it's not your, your time to show your quality. Don't use one arrow on me. Kill Faramir and get out. Okay, it's not worth to lose Aragorn for anyone else but Kanda for something. And now we are in a safe spot. He's level 4, has leadership now. That's a decent amount of the leadership, no armor, but gives you damage and combat experience. Now we have enough money for Elmia, and we can also build potentially one more tower right here, because the units are gathered around this area, and we will get so many power points over time for free. Okay, so the plan is, um, and I, you know, I'm kind of worried about the fact that we have heal on cooldown and Atalas on cooldown. And nothing to deal with this eagle, really. He does not that much damage, luckily for us, to our Aragorn. And also no spear ability. He needs to be level 5 for this one. Are you kidding me? Marshal of the Redemark summons Rohirrim on the field. Okay, that's interesting. Nice. And leadership is also available for level 3. He has nothing ab ability, no ability available. But the most important one is, of course, the outlaw leadership for us. Anyways, let's kill Boromir. And make sure that our units are able to share experience with Aragorn as he does that. Which is going to be very important, okay? Maybe, maybe do it. Nice, okay. Oh, we have level 4 now. Oh, Glorious Charge got moved to level 5. Okay, let's write down a little bit. At level 2, that's nice. And now we need to peel back to save our Rohirrim. Aragorn is in a safe spot. And now we will get also money. We can just fight here. We can just fight here. And then we can just go inside. Uh, we need to build some more towers. Or maybe we can get Eowyn on the field. Now we can get Eowyn. Uh-oh. Be careful. Aragorn, you can use Blade Master. And this. We have also healed almost back up. We lost the Rohirrim. Uh, you are memeing now. You are memeing now. Oh, the, he's also dealing so much damage to our heroes. I'm actually wondering if Eomir is going to be here. If we still get money. Yes, we still get money. Oh, oh we don't, don't go greedy. Come here, eagle. Oh, he's flying away. I mean, he didn't need to fly away. And you know what? I, I keep repeating myself, but you see what happens if the he if the enemy units are nearby and then the heroes do whatever they want, you know? And that's not gonna happen in Bifemi 2 or Rise of the Witch King because there are battle stances. Okay, I wanna see the damage now. Hey, respect. Decent amount of damage. And I always forget about this one. Belts of Rohan, let's use this. And let's build another tower here. Because we need to deal with this eagle. These eagles are really hard to deal with. Okay. 
Now we have e power points collected. Um, Grand Harvest. Oh, okay. 50% more resources from farms. Now we are talking, ladies and gentlemen. Now we are talking. I like that. I like that. I really do. There is Aragorn, but our Aragorn should be a bit stronger, I guess. Uh, unfortunately for us, we have no. Wait a second. I have an idea. Let's get dismounted with every. Actually, we have Glorious Charge now. Should be a. Uh, be a shame to not use that, you know, for the Rohirrim warriors. He has fire, but it's fine. I mean, until they come on the field, I would just like to get dismounted. Because dismounted, they're gonna be tank here. Okay, so you want you wanna mess up with me? Sherex, get bomb, nice. Level 3 immediately, and we get 250 resources for killing the giant eagle, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go raid. Okay, now, um... I mean, we could go for more units, but you know me. I want to get heroes on the field first. Uh, Gimli. Uh oh, what's happening here? Okay, you know what? Summon Dwarven Alliance. And then just peel back. Uh, go out. Give them leadership. But there is a Nazgul. Uh oh, oh, oh. Aragorn, use Atelas. Save your king. Nice. Oh my god, this heal was crazy. Turing got to, back to full HP. Oh, there is also Legolas. We have enough money now for the Dwarf, Gimli. And this might has such a long cooldown, but it's, it's available now. Let's use that should deal a lot of damage now. Nice. Almost one-shotted. Almost one-shotted. Should have waited a bit longer, you know? Uh, why? Kill this, please. No, it should, he should die now, right? Please die. Okay, nice. He's dead. Now we can go out with Gimli. We have seven power points collected. And we have now the Lady of Light. Which means we have now access to Galadriel, the Elven Queen. And she's very expensive. <laughs> she costs 5,000 resources. But it's fine. We will be able to get the money we need. Let's kill Boromir first. And then Legolas next. Maybe Gimli can kill Legolas and show him the power of the dwarves. Take this, nice. Oh my goodness, we get so much experience. We have also heal for the worst case scenario. Uh, you need to make sure to not face tank a lot. We can use Atelas. We have double sustain, of course, with the Atelas and then the heal from the spellbook. And where is the small Gimli? Dwarven Grudge. Gimli gains 250 health and knockback resistance. Leadership bonus. Oh, nice. Nice. Let's jump into the backline, Gimli son. Slayer with level 5 for the 100% damage and speed. Let's group all together. Let's make sure to not lose our heroes, please. Let's use heal. I mean, I don't want to risk the biscuit. Now, of course, who's missing? We have uh, Legolas coming now for the gank. Our heroes are actually hitting like a truck, man. I like that. Our points are rising to the sky, ladies and gentlemen. You can also use shield maiden to make this tank here. Use this. This is like a passive thing, right? Yeah, that's passive. And I want to see the spear now from Eomir. Because he needs to be level 5 now for this one, right? It deals splash damage, so it hits multiple... Oh, there is Witch King! I wasn't paying attention for a single second. Elvin, please! Oh, Elvin, why are you not moving? Oh, oh, oh my goodness. We lost a lot. Really a lot. But now we have Legolas, which means this Nazgul can't really fly inside and does whatever he wants. And we will also need uh, Elvin back in the business. The real challenge would be to win the game uh, with heroes exclusively. It's gonna be a bit challenging, but I think it's doable. And with power points, of course, because we have a Rohan opening, we need to break the wall, and we can do that by using the End Alliance Summon. Uh, summon Army of. I mean, I wanna get also this Alliance Summon plus. Um, what is this? Undoid we already have. Alvin Wood. Okay, I mean, not the best, I guess. Next, we're gonna save for the ends. But now we have the Dwarven Alliance Summon and the Elven Alliance Summon. So we have access to a bunch of units. What is this? Aura of the Even Star. Nearby troops regenerate when our... Oh, nice. That's nice. That's nice. So it's like a heal. It's like a well, you know? But you need to be out of combat, of course. Let's wait for Emir. And we can also now revive or recruit, not revive. The last hero and then, you know, one of the two newest heroes alongside with Galadriel, Gambling. Level 1, he's quite cost efficient too. I see a Gandalf. Kill him. Don't die to the towers, please. 
Oh my goodness, he died to the towers. I wanted to get the experience here, but it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, man, uh, this is gambling. Call to arms summons a group of Ro uh, Rohan militia. Okay, gambling. Must be unmounted to use this, okay? He can also get mounted. Horn of the Mark. 30% uh, more damage. Fear resistant to targeted units. The rapid fire rapidly fires two powerful arrows. Gambling must be mounted to use his ability. And then the train units, okay. So let's get this mounted. This mounted. Now we have a lot of heroes. The only hero missing, really, along, you know, when we don't count Mary, um, is uh, Lady Galatiel. Okay, so let's kill this level 3 farm. We have also now some, you know, units on the field, but it's fine. Aragon doesn't care. Aragon is so powerful, guys. Trust me. But talking about Aragorn being powerful, uh, Gimli is also really powerful. Look at this now. Gimli against Aragorn. Pew! Look at this damage. Do you see that? He's hitting so hard, dude. That's unbelievable damage. Oh, we have we have so many experience points now. We have seven power points collected. Let's kill Boromir next. I mean, we need to be careful about our heroes. We have heal. Our, uh, Legolas is in a safe spot. We can also use Hawk Strike here. Let's use Atelas first. Okay, level 7 now. That's great. Jump, my friend. What are we waiting for, guys? Nice, jump. Oh, wait a second. I forgot about one thing. We can also use the Elven Allies, Dwarven Allies, of course. Now, we have all of a sudden a big army here. Kind of a big army. Not really a big army. Why is this building so tanky? I don't get it. Okay, now it's gone. Level 8 Aragorn. That's great. We can now group all our heroes together, besides uh, Legolas, and then use heal on them to keep them healthy. Oh, we have now enough. Oh, what happened? What happened to our Citadel? <laughs> what happened? Okay, let's demolish this building. I'm always keeping an eye on, on, the, on the heroes. Our heroes are almost every single one of them is highly leveled. Armory is a bit more expensive. Normally it used to cost 1300, but it's fine. Okay. I will, go with you to the end. I will go with you to the end. Let's kill this farm. Oh, there is also Legolas. And a Witch King. I want to see this. Wait a second. Let's use Shield Maiden. Let's use uh, Smite. Oh, Smite deals so much damage. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. He's dead. Very fast, actually. Please get this. Under our control. We have almost the power points for need, uh, we need for the army of the dead, which is great. And we, we shouldn't lose any heroes, you know, because we have not really a lot of money yet. And since we do a lot of stuff, we get heroes on the field, we are waiting now for Galadriel, we are getting armory for the heavy armor, 1000, spanner 600, the forge blades 800, the prices are the same like in the normal. BFME 1 on the patch 1.0, uh, cancel. To get the money back fast. When you cancel a building like that during the build time, you will get the maximum money back and the full money back, pretty much, right? Very important, especially if you are struggling like me, money wise. Uh, forge plates, and then last but not least, banner. And then we can demolish the armory because we don't need that to be able to upgrade our units. So just don't waste the spot for no reason. Okay, guys, so that's Lady Galadriel. You see that? I mean, the design and the graphics are, of course, not the greatest of all time, but they are good enough, in my opinion. Projection, teleport to a location, blast of light, which is, kind of, I think, something like a visa blast from Gandalf. Then you have the Nenya, throws three balls of energy. Uh, we have the terrible fury, nearby units flee. So it's like a, like a LN deal from Aragorn, for, uh, for example. Wave of healing. Heal units in a large area around Galadriel. That's nice. Even more sustained for the Rohan heroes, which is great because we have Aragorn. We have Aragorn's uh, ability, you know, this one. And then we have also now um, Wave of Healing, including the heal from the Spellbook of Rohan. And last but not least, Power of Lothlorien deals massive damage in a line blast surrounding enemies away. I believe this is similar to the War of Power from Gandalf. Anyways, we're gonna, we're gonna take a look into that anyway. Because we have a lot of units to kill, and with that being said, we should be able to level up our Galadriel alongside with all the other heroes to level 10, to level 10 quite fast. A click right this way, they're gonna attack every. Oh, oh my goodness! Wait a second. Hey, hey, hey! You do your, you do you, my friend. Kill back. This is the Theoden. 
Help me out. Don't lose Help me out, please. Many you, many heroes are here. <laughs> what, what is this guy doing? Help me, what are you doing? They want to kill Help me out. Aragorn, please do something. Level 4 now, that's nice. Throws three fireballs. I want to take a look into that. Oh, nice. Okay, that's a range ability like a fireball from. Kill them! We return home. We return home. I don't know why they are not attacking. So you, 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 you. You go. Attack. Oh my goodness, Nazgul's everywhere. Uh, where is Eowyn? Eowyn, you do your, you do your my friend. Okay, that should be a one shot now, right? Okay, it was not even necessary. But I want to build towers because that's quite annoying now, to be honest with you. And now we will also build, um, <clears throat> and also this is new, Battle Tower doesn't exist normally in Rohan uh, base. We have level 10 Aragorn now, which means we have now the chance to summon the Offbreakers, which is of course the Army of the Dead. Gimli is very impressive. Legolas is level uh, 6 now, as the Arrowwind, and also level 10 the Ma Monster Slayer, which is very nice. Oh, oh, Aragorn, 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 where is Aragorn? Aragorn, be careful. We can't, uh, we can't lose Aragorn. We can't lose Aragorn, guys. I'm telling you that much. We need to peel back. There is also a Legolas who is shooting our Legolas. Hey, stop it. Stop it. Get some help. We need to revive the king. And again, this is very nice because this way we can get to level 2 immediately. Normally you need to recruit 3 uh, human archers first before you can do anything else. Which is one of the most annoying things in my opinion. Okay, now we have Army of the Dead. Now we have all the summons ready, right? We have Army of the Dead and Elven allies and the Dwarven allies. That's nice, nice, nice. The only thing we are missing... Elven is dead. The only thing we are missing... Wait a second, I have an idea. Let's build a tower here, here, and we can just open the gate now, right? Just open the gate and go out. Galadriel has, you know, has this shiny thing around her. Can he summon something? No. This guy also can't summon anything, but this guy can summon something. Okay, we can also summon something, no problemos. Okay. We have also a bunch of leadership, I mean a lot of leadership available now, I guess. Uh, but I think one of these guys can summon. Oh, he needs to be level... He needs to be mounted to summon them, okay? We need to get mounted. Now we can also summon the Marshal of the Riddermark. There we go. Now we get dismounted once again. And this guy can also summon something. Come on. Uh, this is not working. Some of the summons not working. Everywhere. Okay. So... Let's go. Let's go all together. Attack. Uh, let's destroy the middle camp first. Now, our heroes beside Caradriel are actually quite high, highly leveled. Now, Cetiorin can join the party. And Mouth of Sauron. I'm actually curious about the damage. Oh, actually, not bad. I mean, she doesn't deal as much damage to Mouth of Sauron, of course, as much she does deal to... Units like a Nazgul and even the Eagle got damaged big time. Let's get fire. And then we can demolish the building and build some Rohirrim ar archers. Hey, hey, hey. Aragorn, where are you? Aragorn. Save your Lady Galadriel. Save her now. Nice. The heal is actually quite impressive. We might need AOD here and also the end allies. Let's kill this as soon as we possibly can. Let's throw throw some rocks, I guess. Come on. Our heroes are kind of healthy. Did we lose any one of them? Yeah, we lost Theodin once again. Theodin, you are annoying me. Why are you dying so fast always? Please be together. That's very important for our heroes to be together. Okay. The ends are going to war, ladies and gentlemen. EOD should be gone very soon, but we can kill stuff. We've also now unlocked every single power point from the spellbook, including the Cloud Break. And uh, yeah, I mean, Cloud Break is self explaining, it's gonna stun the enemy units. And now we have the Weave <coughs> of Healing. Let's go for the uh, Blast of Light. She needs to be level 9 for anything else. Please do something, you know? I don't like this when you see stuff. 
Oh, that's gonna be a nice showdown. Gandalf versus Galadriel, ladies and gentlemen. Let's use the Nenya against Gandalf. Mifrandia. Hey, hey, don't cheat. He healed, okay? He's using Easter Light against the end. Did I just hear Balrog or something? To destroy the people of Rohan. I mean, I think, uh, let's be honest, <laughs> they have no chance against Galadriel. Nobody has a chance against Galadriel. Okay, I have idea. So let's use Atelas first. And uh, then we can use now this ability. They got us to be careful. Let's build towers around us. And because we can also now build these towers, which is very nice. Do something. Theorin, you are back once again. Hopefully, hopefully you don't die once again. And Mary, you can also please destroy this mill so we can get some finally some money from outside of our base. But Grand Harvest is very helpful. Elmia El El and his pillage out leadership is of course very very powerful too. Okay, you get dismounted now. Let's group all together. Let's build some more towers. Let's build a well here for the sustain. Double well actually, so we can sustain even a bit faster. And you know what we can also potentially do? Just summon EOD here, right? Just summon them from Aragorn and then just make sure that we kill everything in time. He's also level 8 now. That's the rapid fire, but once again, he needs to be mounted for this one. It's like a Rohirrim Archer Battalion, I guess. Only one level away. And yeah, I have an idea. Let's do this, actually. Let's build some more towers first. Let's build also one here. Eowyn, please do your thing against this Nazgul. Before he actually destroys our Artsita. And then just build farm, farm. To get some more money. Because money is always nice, right? Where is Mary Poppins? He died. Okay. I was not paying attention for a single second. We should be fine. We have a tower here. We have a bunch of towers around. And yeah, we can just go out. I mean, the good thing about Galadriel, guys, is that you have now a teleport. Projection. So you can teleport from one location to the other one. That means you can play a bit risky. Destroy them. Let's go for a Zaplas. Pew. Nice. She doesn't get too much experience from killing those peasants, but it's fine. Better than nothing, of course. And, uh, yeah. You kill this, please. And now we will get some Rohirrim Archer army. They are my favorites. And we have also maximum leadership. We have, of course, the Horse Lord, which is... I mean, the leadership bonuses are a bit nerfed. So you don't get as much as you used to get in BFMU1. Which I like a lot, because leadership was kind of insane. Especially some certain factions they could build, you know, so much leadership, which was making it kind of incredible, to be honest. Okay, they, they, these are Rohan op uh, Mordor opponents. I think that's Mordor at the bottom left side. I think that's Gondor. Okay, we will get some more Rohirrim arts before anything else. Again, we have so much sustain. We have uh, this one in the, you know, if we need that. If Aragorn, uh, his Atelas, we have heal from... The spell book, we have a lot of sust what's happening here. What's nerfed? What's happening? I'm actually curious. We need to replace these towers very soon. Let's give him most heavy armor. Okay, Gimli, you can also use uh, your blade master or not blade master but slayer. Theorin has to be careful. Eowyn can use now the smite. I want to see the smite ability also from Eomir. I mean, the spear throw ability from Eomir. Okay, and also what we can... Oh, nice. Actually, the combination is enough to one-shot a Nazgul, which is impressive. Where is Mary? Oh, Mary is also here. <laughs> Mary, you go destroy this one, please. Oh, oh, what's happening here? Okay, you know what time it is. It is time for projection and now you have i have my i have my hero here ladies and gentlemen you think you can destroy my middle pew nice one okay i want to use this i can't use this but i want to use it oh it's like a targeted thing oh yeah it's something like a war of power but I, no it's not it's actually worse than that it's like a single target ability it's not only knocking them down but you need to target it you can't target War of Power, of course. Use Blade Master. Mary. Mary has 
Mary has fallen. That's okay, I guess. It's fine. We need to be careful. I ideally, you want to group all your heroes together. But uh, you can stay here. We can also build a statue here for the leadership part to make our Rohirrim Arches a bit stronger. Aragorn. Kill this first. Use Attilas. For the sustain, we can also use Army of the Dead to make sure that they are face tanking because there are just too many towers. Look at the buildings. I like this blue thing around the buildings once they are level 3. That's amazing. Summon dwarves behind. Uh, elves, they are good against units but not that great against buildings. There is a hero, Aragorn. But you have no chance against my Galadriel. Trust me, Aragorn. As powerful as you might you think you are. But you are not nearly as powerful as you think. Trust me on that one. Okay, so we are getting some more... Uh, look at all... Oh, that's gonna be a fiesta. But Aragorn has to be kept careful. Um, can we... This has kind of... You know... The cooldown is not short. Let's group all together. Let's use heal. Especially on Aragorn. Very important. Let's also... You can... Inflict massive damage on a single target. Uh, Gimli. Look, he's super, super Gimli, guys. Super speed. Let's just focus down the towers. We can also use knife fight. I want to take a look into that. How much damage he's able to deal. I mean, he's level 10, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but no. He's not dealing too much damage to towers. But it's fine. Better than nothing. Uh, we need more money. <laughs> we have a lot of units, but we have uh, not uh, enough money to upgrade them yet. Please. Okay, Gimli was able to destroy. Where is Legolas? Legolas is shooting. That's okay. Oh, there is Gandalf on foot. Let's build another well here. Just why not? Oh, oh, okay. Okay. I mean, take, I take it back what I just said before at the beginning of the game. That you have two resource buildings. That's not the case. <laughs> you have the end mood. <laughs> the, the two, trust, two resource buildings, they are existing though in the Shadow and Flame mod. Also ever. Not in uh, the Legends of the Third Age mod. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this mod in compare to the Shadow of the, uh, Shadow and Flame mod. We have taken a look into that Shadow and Flame mod a while ago. But I feel like you shouldn't really compare them with each other. You should just take them as they are because uh, I believe the Shadow and Flame mod is a bit easier. Uh, because uh, they are pretty much copying quite a lot from the... See it. Each of the ring mods, you know? Can we right click? Uh, we can right click, that's nice. In Bifemito and Rise of the Witch King, you can like uh, right click on mu multiple uh, abilities at the same time. In, in Bifemito 1, it's only limited to one, so please keep that in mind. Okay, Legolas has a crazy range, we get 10 for each kill. Again, that's the end mood for 5000 resources, nothing is changed about this one. Now we need to save money for 5000, but we also need to give them uh some weapon oh 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 yeah yeah that's very important now that we give them actually fire oh my goodness they are coming oh there is some rohirrim allies some in action is going on but you know i can also do that my friends let's use this you can also jump gimli okay and we can also use arrow wind here Wait a second, I want to test this. He's full health, right? Okay, let's see. Let's see this. Oh my goodness, almost... But he's level 5 only, but still. Almost a one-shot, that's great. I like that. Oh, oh, what's going on? Let's put fire and then peel back a little bit. Let's get also this one. Very important. And I want to buy this one, just because I want to make sure that they are not able to buy that, you know? The ants are following us, but that's fine. Kill the ant first before anything else. Very important. Again, you see what, what happens. Okay. One second, though. 5,000, the castle. The prices are the same. I mean, not much change about the pricing. Leadership is a bit changed. Couple of new units or heroes, in this case, are added. And mainly heroes, though. Yeah. We need to... Oh my goodness. The, <laughs> that, that, there we go, guys. There we go. We need to make sure that we have a statue here behind. 
That's a Gondor, right? Yeah. And he has a lot of stuff. We need to summon the Ent allies to make room to enter the enemy base. Let's build some farms here, close the gate and hope for the best. And then throw rocks with the ants against the wall. And then I want to use the EOD, the Army of the Dead, to kill this trebuchet on top of the wall. And also the Citadel. Please kill the Citadel first. Come on. Oh, here's a lot of trebuchets actually on top of the wall. But they are gonna be gone very soon. There we go. There is one more left. Please destroy. Okay, the Citadel is gone. And the wall is broken. It means we can now just go inside. One more hit is needed. There we go. Nice. Now the ants can also support. I, <laughs> they they want to destroy this trebuchet, this EOD. Oh my, I can't believe that. I actually can't believe that. I want to see now the damage from Eomi against the trebuchet on top of the wall. Shields maiden to make your tank here. Let's see the smite. Oh nice, one-shotting. That's great. Slayer. Okay. And you guys destroy the farm. Oh my goodness, what happened here? We lost the castle. I cannot believe that. <laughs> there we go, guys. The nightmare of the ants has begun. Actually, it took much longer time than I was expecting it to take. Not gonna lie, guys. But it's okay, I guess. It's okay. We can just use the dwarven allies here. I want to see their damage against the ants. I think they should not deal any damage against the ants, but whatever. Okay. Gimli is coming, but we have a lot of units here. We lost even a couple of them. Okay, it's time now for us to shine. I have idea. You get mounted, you get mounted, you get mounted, and also you get mounted. And we also group all our mounted heroes together. Send them to our Rohirrim marches to make a great calf army. And also Eomir has to go there, of course. Eomir, why are you waiting? Hopefully you're not gonna die. Theorin, also you need to go. I said, I told you guys, one, two, three, four. You all go here. Very important. Okay. And you guys destroy the last remaining buildings, please. One second. The time. I mean, I like the fact that you are also able to, to summon dwarves, which is, of course, very new. We can also demolish the building. I wanted to, that, to do that, of course, way, way earlier, but it's fine. Okay. Now replace this um, with another farm. And Gondor will be defeated now. It will only leave the Rohan alive. Okay, so we have only one opponent left now. And uh, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> look now, we have a lot of leadership, trust me. Okay, we will group them all together. We have now two armies. One, one of them are our heroes, the melee heroes. Um, they are here. And our calf army is here alongside with the spot of the heroes, of course. And of course, you always need to take a look into um, the glorious charge. We can just buy this one and also sport. Kill this end mood first. Okay. He's like a Rohir match, and we have not taken a look into this one just yet. Rapid fire. It's like a warning arrow, pretty much. Even sounds like that. For death and glory, ladies and gentlemen. Ere the sun rises. Okay, and mood is tanky, but it's not tanky enough. It's time for the Rohan music too, guys. Oh yeah. I mean, Rohan was the real MVP, in my opinion, in the films. Gondo kept losing everything, right? They lost Osgiliath, they lost everything. And without Rohan, they would be kind of doomed. But Rohan... Let's be honest, Rohan got some help from some elves, but it was not really the elves which were enough to save Rohan. It was actually Rohan, you know, Eomir and his Rohirrim were able to save him. Okay, let's build some towers here. We want to keep this safe and protected and great. If now a, a lot of money, but not enough money to buy this castle just yet, but it's okay. Uh, let's go down there. Um, 
Army of the Dead is available, that's nice, because with Army of the Dead, if you don't know, you can also um, use them to break the wall, guys. I wanna show you guys, okay? Give me a second. You can also use Army of the Dead inside the enemy base, just like that. And then use one of them to break the wall. Heal back a little bit, loop all together. Oh, wait a sec. It's fine, we can just teleport now. Can we also teleport inside the base? Oh yeah, it's it's available. It's actually crazy, man. Imagine you can do that. You can, I mean, it's not reloading very fast, but still, you can go anywhere and then just nice. Does not deal that much damage to buildings, but it's knocking down the enemy units. I believe the board of power from Gandalf is a bit better when you want to kill armies, you know, with them. Okay, let's group all together. Let's get inside the jeans. Glorious charge is available once again. For death and glory, for Rohan, for our people. And as we are winning the game, guys, I hope you enjoyed your stay. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. Likes are helping quite a lot for the YouTube algorithm. And we have still one fact two factions left. Isengard and Mordor to take a look into. And that's gonna happen hopefully very, very soon as well, before my vacation. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. Make sure, please, to follow me on my Twitter. And my Instagram, I will leave a link in the, in the description down below. I'm new on Twitter and also Instagram. Uh, especially Instagram is new. And uh, again, thanks for watching. Hope you're going to, you know, see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. And as always, stay beyond standards and keep hitting like a truck. Peace.